Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mob and Precious Quickie, and today I want to talk about Godlike Burger. This game comes out April 21st, 2022. It was developed by Liquid Pug and published by Datalek Entertainment. This game is a cooking, time management, resource game, very comedic, but you are committing a lot of crimes and assassinations. So you play as a basic human chef and you own a flying spaceship restaurant in which you are traveling to many different planets and catering to a lot of different types of alien species. The whole goal of the game is to increase your reputation really high to get to the very last planets and serve the best. How do you get there? Well, you start off with very simple basic facilities. You have a lot of things that get run down, toilets that clog, very, very dirty place. Your goal is to pretty much take care of all the patrons that come by. You start with very chill planets like one to two different types of uh, species and they come in they do a lot of different things they order first then your goal is to just you know go into your fridge pick up the stuff put it down cook stuff make sure you get the right ingredients it's kind of like a, it's, it's your basic cooking management thing and but what comes into play here is you know not only do you just get money for filling their needs but you also need to somehow kill them i know it sounds a little weird so you want to make sure that you get enough money by you know paying not by getting paid by some of the customers who really want their food but if you can somehow catch some of them alone or even use some of your traps like a gun or maybe some sort of tentacle monster in your toilet you can kill them and you can put them into the grinder and you can use them for future ingredients and recipes and other different parts <laughs> i know it sounds very weird but it's cool because it's uh so the game is set in like two different towards sorts of gameplay it's a fun cooking resource management time based thing where you want to you know stressful crunch and then it's like well maybe i want to kill someone over here on the side so it kind of plays like a, a hitman i guess in that sense where you force people to go to different areas I mean, you might get lucky and maybe they're just gonna go walk in the back and do a smoke so you can get over there and smack them with your cleaver or you can feed them certain sort of foods and sauces to make them do something like hey i'm gonna make sure to give this guy a laxative so he goes into the toilet and then i can activate my trap in there so at the end of every day and it comes in waves you go in you do your stuff so you're gonna get a mix of money and a mix of different ingredients then you go down to your basement you can pay the bills you can see what all of the different um, alien species are up to what are their uh you know what are their pros and cons what are their habits so you can really understand how it works because they all have different sorts of behaviors and, and you know really hp stats and everything you can smack them yourself with the cleaver but it's probably better to use your traps if you can because you don't really have to be there and you don't get caught in a lot of blood so like i said it comes in waves you do the enemies do the enemies no you serve the customers and then you get the money and then you do upgrades the different upgrades is like you can increase your own character's health you can you know buy new traps you can upgrade said traps and then you just keep going from there a lot of the quests that you have to do it's really weird sometimes it's like oh don't leave the restaurant for a day or make sure you kill five customers who you've already fed that sort of thing so you get you do your best to serve the customers and get your reputation up not get caught and do all of these quests and when you do then you can fulfill the requirements to move on to the next planet and then it just gets more harder and harder from there it introduces more sort of modifiers like hey maybe this day a bunch of protesters will come in and you have to kick them out maybe the toilets keep running today so it's kind of like it feels like a roguelike in that sense but it's like a campaign without like the crazy story it's just simple gameplay just go in do what you got to do and get over there it's very addicting and i do have to say i really like the graphics very smooth the controls are perfect it's great it's a little annoying how you know people can get in your way when you're walking around especially in those small freaking corridors but it's part of the game it's very hectic and it's cool like you know unlocking all of the traps and making sure to not get caught it's very it's very uh tense and it's a fun game so i really recommend god like burger guys it could get hard but um uh, you know if you die you pretty much respawn your last day though you do lose things so it's a long-term campaign and there's some cool little comic panels that introduce a lot of the modifiers and somewhat when you go on so hey check out god like burger i had fun with it there's going to be a link in the description if you guys want to see my non-commentary gameplay i'm uploading it on the let's play channel please come by twitch link down below thanks for watching check out god like burger and i'll see you guys next time bye